Okay, boys, we gotta talk about Destiny 2. As you can see, it's dog shit. You know it's dog shit, I know it's dog shit. Let's get down to it. Step 1. Fuck the abilities. Abilities are way too strong in Destiny 2. Way too strong. I'm talking just complete bullshit. So, first of all, we have to get rid of these things. Yeah, we have to take them out of PvP and we have to set them all to one value, right? Because then everyone has the same recharge rate for grenades, same recharge rate for super, and same recharge rate for punches. Anyway, once we have that, we're going to want to nerf stasis. Everyone hates stasis, it's not fun. Nerf it. Make the freezing less. Just take it out of PvP. Decide what you want to do with it. It's not very hard. Aspects. Aspects on everything aren't actually that bad, but usually they can be used to be incredibly overpowered. Overpowered. Okay, so what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to take a look at the aspects now. So basically, aspects add another factor to the game that the devs can't control because they're idiots. So first of all, we have to we have to look at all these random buffs that are usually they're pretty good usually, and often we we should bring them down, bring them down on everything. I'm talking about jolted, amplified, radiant, knock them down. Scorch, Ignite. You can bring Invisibility down. You can bring Weakness, weakness down. Suppression, Volatile. Those were there before, but they're, st but they're still definitely a problem. And unfun to play against. Fragments. Fragments should not be able. They should never be able to do an, more damage to someone. They should never be doing extra damage. They should never be doing extra damage. You should never be healing in the middle of a gunfight. And they should never make grenades able to one hit. Grenades should never one hit. Grenades should never do more than 100 damage. Step two, look at the weapons. So first of all, our first step for this we're looking at the weapons is going to be nerfing aim assist aim assist values are crazy especially on hand cannons they're way too good look at hawk moon 93 that that value is ridiculous and it's incredibly overpowered and it lets players abuse these things beyond normal capabilities that a weapon should have now Nerf damage on some weapons. Chara's Wrath kills too fast. A lot of SMGs kill too fast, but the reason they made it like this is because if they make this kill fast and they make these have a bunch of aim assist and range, then it must be balanced, right? No. No, that's that's terrible. So damage on this. Reduce the damage. Reduce the damage for auto rifles. Can't reduce the damage for shotguns. Uh, glaives. They're just annoying to play against. They're not really fun. You can leave them in. Not a problem. But does add a bit to the complicated factor. Because if you saw my last video, then you would know that the problem for, for PvP right now is that everything's way too complicated. And the devs don't know how to balance them. Because if they bring one thing up, and they bring, bring another thing down. And then they have to bring the thing down up. And... It's a mess. It really is. And they don't know how to balance it and it causes major power creep. So what we have to, to do is we have to nerf everything accordingly. Our third step, take power ammo out of PvP. Power ammo in PvP is way too good. It's ridiculous. And it has no outplay potential. If someone flies in with the Galahorn, I am dead no matter what. All right. Let's look at weapons. So weapons, a lot, 
a lot of these, especially the automatic weapons, have to have their damage reduced. Hand cannons definitely have a have to have a a hard aim assist nerf. The aim assist on these guns is way too high. It makes them way way too easy to use. You can have high potential weapons, but you can't have them be easy to use as well. Like some machine guns. They they have high potential and they are pretty easy to use. That's why you have to bring the potential down with the damage. If you bring damage down on some machine guns, auto rifles, and sidearms, then it brings down that overpowered bit of it. Scout rifles. Scout rifles, they're fine. They don't need more range, they don't need anything, they're okay. They might, that's, they're fine, leave them. Bows, make it so you can't quick swap. You should not be able to quick swap with them. Special weapons. Shotguns, leave them where they are. They're crazy dog shit, that's why you have to bring them up later, but leave them where they are when you're taking everything else down. Grenade launchers, take them out of PvP. Nothing should do a big ginormous chunk of damage. Doing a ginormous chunk, chunk of damage and not having any kind of precision weapon is way too good. We've seen this for a long time, we've watched grenade launchers for a long time, they've been way too good for a really long time. All the way from mountaintop, which was dominating, to what we have recently, which is also pretty damn annoying. Fusion rifles. Nerf the range. That's all you need to do. They can have a farther range, range than shotguns, but they cannot be hitting at the range an SMG would hit. Okay. Snipers. Make them ADS easier and bring down their aim assist. Their aim assist values are usually pretty high, especially with things like a door and eye of salt, especially. And I'm gonna be real with you. Climbing feels like dog shit right now. It feels so awful. It really does. So you have to bring the ADS speed up, back up, bring it back up. No one will, no one will hate it because the ammo economy is still very. Well, the ammo economy for snipers is pretty small. Just bring, bring aim assist down, bring ADS speed up, and make body shots do less damage. Body shots can do a crap ton of damage. Nothing should be one hitting. Unless it's a headshot. Okay? That means high impacts and empowering rip. It can do a lot of damage for an easy quick swap, but it should not be able to one hit. Trace rifles. Not much to say on these. They're fine. Glaives, also, not much to say about these. No one really uses them in PvP. And if you do, you just get you get slapped ceremoniously. Now exotics, exotics are really bad right now. A lot of them are really OP. I'm looking at things like the Forerunner, the Dead Man's Tail, which has been really good. Where is it? The Monarch. The Lord of Wolves, the Lorenz Driver, and Jotun. These things are really hard to play against. And back and Vexmith though. And sorry, Vexmith though. These things are really hard to play against and they're really really good. So first of all, start with the hand cannons. Nerf the aim assist. Look at Thorn, 85. Nothing needs that much aim assist. Nerf the aim assist on all these hand cans. Last word doesn't need it as much because it's sitting at 40. But definitely for all the other ones. Crimson, again, it's part of the hand cannons. Even though it's a bit of a false rifle, they should still nerf it. Scout rifles are fine. SMGs need the same the damage nerfs, and what I said for all the other SMGs. 
Cerberus is fine, Rat King's fine, Igna Izanagi's is fine, Arbalist. Arbalist is just terrible to play against, it's always been awful. It's not one of those weapons that you want to keep in the sandbox. Gonna keep it real. Chaperone, also just aim assist. I don't know if the range is that good right now, but definitely just tone down the aim assist. Monte Carlo, it's a trade-off, it's fine. Traver Traveler's Chosen, also a trade-off. Dead Man's nerf the speed that it shoots at. And the aim assist value. Forerunner, aim assist. And just know that the economy, the am ammo economy, does not make it fair. If it has less ammo, that does not make it so that the gun is balanced if it does a ton of damage. Bastion, not something you want in PvP. Witherheart, also not something you want in PvP. Terrible to play against, never fun. Take him out. No time, fine. Age Receptor, Scepter, fine. Also okay. And Hawkmoon is also okay. Osteo is a little aggravating, but just tone down the damage like all the other SMGs, it will be okay. All the trace rifles are fine. Ariana's Vow is okay, because no one uses it, just make it so no one can swing quick swap as well. Luminarch, the arrow shot should do less damage, but make it so that the poison does the same amount. Paraba is ridiculous for damage, tone down the damage hard, especially when Ravenous Beast is active. Jotun, make it move a little slower, it's terrible to play against, no one likes this gun. Uh, Lord of Wolves, also another one everyone hates, so unfun. All you have to do is take down the range and take down the aim assist. And it'll be hard to hit with. Lorenz Driver, awful, awful to play against. This is a huge lie, you get a bunch of aim assist, especially if you plug in a controller. Just nerf the body shot damage for this. Nerf the body shot damage and make it so that you have to actually hit their head to kill them. Like you can't shoot their neck and get a headshot. Okay. Vex Mytho, also just damage. Nerf the damage on this and it'll probably be fine, but it is really, really, really oppressive in PvP right now. The aim assist also could be nerfed. Everything else is Decent, except for Dead Messenger, which is a grenade launcher, which should not be in PvP. Okay, now we're getting into exotics. You'll see this, I don't want to make the video too long, so I'm going to do this in another video in a part two later on. Hit the subscribe button. If we get to 100 subscribers in two weeks, I will only masturbate to Doja Cat's say so video for until November. And drop a like. Thank you so much. See ya.